Hi everyone, welcome back to YouTube. Uh, we're having a little bit of a jumping day today. Oh, the walk has got wet, that's gross. Um, and so I thought I would take you with me. I say jumping. Our arena is incredibly limiting. That's all right. When it comes to jumping jumps. But we're doing some cavaletti. And so, yeah, I'm just gonna, it's really windy. So I'm just gonna get a bit of video, do a neat horse, explain a bit about what we're doing and take you along with us. Little Zora, we've done this. This isn't the first time she's left the ground this year. We've jumped once or one other time, but only the second, so, and in the wind. Might be a bit uncertain. She has had a calming cookie to assist her on her journey. And she's gonna wear a pair of ears, like noise cancelling ears, because it's so windy. So yeah, gonna get her tacked up and then give her a little jump. Ready? Come on, let's go. Come on. It's so weird. Now that his ears are all fixed. <laughs> what are you doing? So my aim for Zora in this session is for her to be feeling slow, relaxed, and to be finding a better stride pattern when it comes to the takeoff point. Sometimes I've found that uh, where the canter isn't balanced, then I struggle with that stride pattern and with that takeoff point becoming sort of neither far off or too deep, it seems to be very inconsistent. So this is what we're working on. So this is an exercise for me with my accuracy and also an exercise for Zora giving her confidence with where that takeoff point is. I thought I told you to stay outside of the gate. So we just began in trot and I was really mindful of the rhythm. I was trying to keep her nice and steady. My line wasn't particularly good here. You see she's drifting out a bit on that line. And then you can quite quickly see what I did there. You can see that I tip forward and look down. And so she does the same thing and we both end up in that same shape together, proving to be a little bit of a stickier moment over the first pole and cavaletti. Better line here, much straighter, much more balanced. Still tipping forward a little in my body, but landing on the right canter lead, and I was really pleased with her there. She really felt confident over it. Change the rein, same thing to the other side. Just nice having her landing in that balanced way, not feeling at all unsure. Here, taking me forward nicely. Really pleased with her. It wasn't, you know, goodness, the fences are tiny and they're tiny on purpose. This isn't about the height of the fence. This is about her getting strong and understanding where that takeoff point is. You can see now she's getting that really consistently. So my aim was to then uh, take this exercise into the canter. So I ride a circle and then I head round back to it. And my purpose was to see a stride to the pole. So the pole is now at three yards from the Cavaletti and you see there, lovely stride, really straightforward, lovely rhythm, lovely little pop over the Cavaletti. It's just giving us both confidence about our stride pattern. Really, really good. And much better afterwards there, that's what I was talking about, not cutting the corner. Here I did not have such a good stride and Zora helped me out there, bless her. And this was better, more balance on the corner, lovely and smooth. Such a good girl in the wind. And I really noticed a difference, her having had a, um, a calming cookie. She was like 
calm and not calling for her friends and just concentrating on what she was doing but as you saw still like active and forward they really are just brilliant those calming cookies i can't rate them enough the things you can do when all the doors are shut in the barn <laughs> good girl good zora uh, carrot view Good girl. Oh no, I now don't have anything to get her into a stable with. Come on. Next up, Obi Juan in his beautiful air tech. Such a beautiful saddle pad. So my aim with Obi was to have some fun, actually, and um, give him, you know, some diversity to his education. He does a lot of flat work and, you know, we've got no shows at the moment, so it's nice to be able to have a little play around with him. He um, he actually had a couple of calming cookies this day and the difference in him was enormous. He can be really quite reactive in this arena, especially when it's windy. So it was lovely to have him feeling so like focused and with me. He didn't feel anxious at all. And you'll see in a moment on the left rein coming up through this corner here, that previously has been really problematic and actually been like, quite dangerous at times because you have so little space in this arena and you're coming off that corner I found I'm really struggling to um, keep him balanced and not rushing so you can see here we're just building up through the bounces so we went from two or we went from one then to two and then we're at three and then four here and it was really good that time he had broken to trot where I was asking him to wait but this time was much better really really pleased with him there keeping his balance nice bit of gymnastics for him you see on this rein he changes legs quite a lot he doesn't stay on that right lead you can see here he's doing all sorts of things with his lead changes over those cavaletti and so this next time i was really working on keeping my right leg and my right hand just to keep that right bend a little bit more and there he managed it and it was really good super pleased with him this day especially in this wind really really nice next we had Tilly and Tilly has had a bit of a break through the winter um George had a really busy period with work so he uh we gave Tilly a bit of a holiday so we're just bringing him back and really keeping everything very slow Tilly has the tendency to be quite strong so we were working a lot on getting him holding himself a bit more, not rushing to the fences. You'll see he's quite, he can be a bit on the downhill. So we're just really working on him being soft. And you see there, that's better. He brings the pole up a little bit before the fence, and then he can put his weight over his hind leg and stay a bit more balanced. And this is what we were working on. I was really pleased with him, actually. He felt really, really good, really confident and with me. So, and not too strong, which was great. with how he just jumped shelter behind my car my phone is dying i don't normally use my phone for vlogging but um for some reason well i just i just decided to do this video last minute uh again the calming cookies obi had two and the difference i've had some really bad jumping experiences with him at home in the wind he's just really sensitive to it and doesn't like it at all and as you saw he was really like easy and confident and happy to be working rather than tense or looking for a problem. So yeah, another one positive. Right, I need to leave my phone charging for a minute because it's gonna die otherwise. Hmm. I don't know why, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I didn't charge it last night, who knows. Next up, we've got Nora, who is my ride and Boots, who Meg is riding. Nice Meg, <laughs> taking that home with you. So for these two horses, we're working on really quite different things, but we could use the same exercise. So Boots uh, has previously lost his bottle when he was jumping. So we're really working on keeping things uh, very confident for him. And Nora, well, she's just learning to jump full stop. She um, doesn't really care if she hits a fence. And so we are working a lot on her uh, keeping her balance, but learning where that takeoff point was. So Boots, it's all about that balance. You see Meg going in sitting trot on her way in so that she can 
uh, see where that takeoff point is going to be. Good. Nice and balanced, nice and easy, nothing too exciting. Really focusing on him staying calm as well. So Nora had the tendency on this left rein just to try to go really fast. And you'll see I take a little bit of steering there. She has the tendency to want to go left, like fall left, but run left quite fast. Really nice for Boots, just staying super confident. Nothing too big or exciting, but that's the important thing. So you see there I'm having to take a little bit of a connection so that she's not just kind of generally running towards the fence or past it. And I was really pleased with how she finished here. Much more balanced and I didn't have to kind of hold her as such. This is also really nice here. You can see him taking that stride and jumping really sweetly. So pleased with them all eating a biscuit. Um, the last two is very interesting. The horse Nora, she doesn't really know what she's doing. So she just kind of takes it upon herself to do slightly the wrong thing. So that was really good to work through that today. Where's my bottle of water? There it is. Um, I've got to teach Emma on Freddie now. If you follow me on Patreon, you'll know who that is. And, oh God, drop my phone. Um, and then I've got a couple more to exercise and then I'm going teaching this afternoon. I've got one, I'm going to go see Nicole and Bosco. If you follow me on Patreon as well, you know who that is. Maybe I'll do a little bit of footage of what she's doing today as well. Uh, yeah, but I'm going to finish this video here because I've got no more to say about jumping. Really nice actually to jump some exercises like that. I like keep it very, very simple, especially for Zora. I was just watching a few of the videos back and she's so much slower and calmer and st like steadier with it rather than it being fast or tense. And so, yeah, I'm really happy with her. Really pleased I gave her that calming cookie. Um, I think it made a world of difference. She was really quite different yesterday and the day before and the day before that. So yeah, so she's gonna enjoy some field time. I realized that you guys probably will have thought, why am I not jumping Mo? So unfortunately Mo is lame again. Um, so rubbish, that makes me very sad. I don't know whether she'll return to jumping and doing fun stuff, I have no idea, but her side bone has flared up and she's really lame. She's on Butte and I'm just walking her in hand and it's sad. Uh, I just want her to be happy basically and comfy not in pain so i'll have to keep you guys updated on that one anyway i hope you liked today's video and if you did please give it a like and tell your friends about my youtube channel hit subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys for next time thanks so much for watching bye for now